Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase. Today I'm going to be showcasing Applied Energy Sticks 2 in 1.16.1. .1. Applied Energy Sticks 2, or AE2 for short, is a storage mod that allows you to store things like items, blocks, fluids, and entities electronically. Because this is a big mod, I'm going to be splitting this up into multiple videos. And in this video I'm going to be covering the basics of digital storage. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the materials you need to need to get into Applied Energy Sticks 2. Um, there's quite a few, but it's um, not that hard to get. So at first, you're probably going to get um, Certus Quartz and Charge Certus Quartz. These are found by mining underground with these ores. And you can see here, they both look a little different. So this one is a lot duller and doesn't have any particles. This one's brighter and does have particles. So Charge Certus Quartz and Normal Certus Quartz is used for different kinds of crafting. Anyway, so you'll use that all for all different types of things. Anyway, so next is the um, presses, the inscriber presses. They're quite important for the crafting as well. And um, you probably want to craft a meteorite compass, which is just crafted with four iron ingots and a charged certus quartz crystal. And these charged, um, so after you make this, it will point you towards a meteorite. And the reason you want to find one of those is because if you go down in the middle one, you'll have to find a chest, and it will have these presses inside of them. And you can see, um, the way these work, they point to the skystone block, which is what the meteorites are made of. Um, I also did happen to make the showcase out of skystone, but if I just, um, that's why it's spinning around. But if I just fly away a bit, it's pointing to more of my showcase. But if I fly away a bit more, it should start to point to a meteorite. I just fly a bit over here. Hopefully, I get far. Yeah. So here it sees it points to a meter right now. So if I just um fly over into this direction, I should. Yep. Yeah, here's the meter right here. here. And these meter rights, they spawn all throughout the world, and they come. They're all always made of sky stone. Um, one thing to note: to break sky stone efficiently, you need a at least a diamond pickaxe. Otherwise, you won't get the block, and it just takes a very long time as well. And you can see here some. Um, Certus Quartz. I forgot to mention the Certus Quartz and Charged Certus Quartz spawns around black like, below layer 64. So it's nearly as common as iron, um, except for the Charged Certus Quartz is a bit more rare. Anyway, so if I just go to the center of this meteor, and I just dig down, I should eventually find a, yep, here's a Skystone chest. If I open it, um, you can have some like random loot in it, but you, what you want is the presses. So this one's got the Calculation Press, Logic Press, and the Engineering Press. It's missing one press, so you probably want to explore a couple meteorites just so you get all four presses, because they're um, all necessary to get to your digital storage system. Anyway, so let's just go fly back over here, and we'll go to the next thing. So next is a crafting system that um, AE2 uses um, to craft certain things. So um, these Fluex crystals, you need those for crafting, and the way you make them is getting one charged Stardust Quartz, one Nether Quartz, and a Redstone Dust, and throwing them into a pool of water. And then you can see here, they'll start to spark a bit, and then they'll give you two Fluex Crystals. And these Fluex Crystals are used for all crafting stuff. And another thing is these seeds. These seeds are used to make pure um, versions of their crystals. So you can see um, a Fluex Seed, a Nether Quartz Seed, and a Certus Quartz Seed. Those will make um, some pure... Um, so you can make the pure Certus Quartz, pure Nether Quartz, and pure... Um, flux um, crystals. The ways these are crafted um, are by getting flux dust and red sand, nether quartz dust and well, normal sand actually, and um, certus quartz dust and normal sand as well. I'll talk about more later on how to get the dust, but and then you just throw these into a pool of water. It will be quite slow. Um, there are ways of speeding up, but I'll talk about that in another video. But um, they'll take quite a while to grow, but you see here if I pick them up now, they still have no progress, but they won't despawn, so you just want to leave these in the pool and see how far they've made progress at the end of the video. Anyway, next we're going to move over on how you craft those dusts. So the dusts, they're crafted by getting a quartz grinder, grindstone actually, and pushing the things in them. So a quartz grindstone is just crafted with three permafrost, two cobblestone, and three um, quartz of any type really. And um, you also need a wooden gear, which is just four sticks. It's pretty simple. And you place it down, and you make a wooden crank as well, so you can crank it. And that's just um, pretty simple. It's just five sticks. And then you can make um, all these different types of dust. You can make um, ender dust from grinding ender pearls, gold dust from grinding 
gold ore, um, iron dust for grinding iron ore, um, flux dust for grinding flux crystals, certus quartz dust for grinding certus quartz crystals, and nether quartz dust from grinding nether quartz. The reason you want to grind um, the ender dust is because it's used for crafting. The um, gold dust and iron dust isn't actually used for any crafting um, in this mod. Um, it's just used for other mods, which I've got installed. But um, the reason you want to do this is because if you see here, to grind the iron ore, you'll get two iron dust, and you can smelt these into iron ingots. So it's basically doubling the ore you get. Anyway, so we're going to move, um, talk about the power generation as well now. So, there's only one block that generates power in A2, and that's the vibration chamber. And the way this vibration chamber is crafted is just um, seven iron, one furnace, and an energy acceptor, which is just crafted with four quartz glass, four iron ingots, and a fluex crystal. And the quartz glass is just crafted with five um, certus or normal quartz dust and four glass. I'll make you four quartz glass. And the way this um, generator works is you just um, go get some coal and put it in there, and it'll generate its um, A power for A um, per tick, which is the power that applied on um, A2 users. I'll just break this by. Yeah, and um, you can the way you transport this power around is well mainly the Fluex ME glass cables, which are crafted with just two Fluex crystals and a quartz fiber. I'll make you four Fluex ME glass cables. And you can use it to transport your um, power around, around. So you can see I got a cable from the vibration chamber all the way up to this charger, which um, will charge things that um, can that have like um, power storage inside them, like batteries and stuff. We can also charge certus quartz to make um, charged certus quartz. You can see if I can just get some certus quartz and place it in here, it will yep just change it there. It's very quick. It use um, change it to a charged certus quartz. And the way you craft this um, charger is just two flux crystals and five iron ingots. Anyway, so the vibration chamber isn't very good, so we'll talk um, about now on what to do for other power methods. So um, A2 doesn't add any other powering methods besides the um, vibration chamber, um, so I'd recommend you install other mods that um, allow you to um, generate power. And the um, any other the only power source that is uh, like compatible is these um, Fluix glass cables, and those won't connect to any other powering things from any other mods. So what you need to do is make an energy acceptor, which I um, showed you earlier, and place it down, and place your cable here, which I've got one from Mechanism, and it'll transport power from this bio generator, which is also from Mechanism, I just get some biofuel. Um, so if I get my biofuel here, and if it places it here, it will start um, making electricity, and this will go through the energy acceptor, um, ed yeah, acceptor, and put it through the ME glass cable and I'll charge this without power this charger. So next I'm gonna move over on to the inscriber. So the inscriber um uses the presses which I um, said you needed to get earlier. And these inscribers will are used to make circuits and processes. So as you can see here you've got the you put the four um inscribers in a different inscriber in um either the in either two slots on the left side. And each inscriber will inscribe different resources. So you can see here the um, inscriber engineering press will inscribe diamonds. So you can see here it's inscribing here, and it will make a printed engineer circuit. And the um, you can see here the next one is the calculation press, which requires pure certus quartz, which is from um, the seed, which are starting to grow. And so you can see that will turn in and makes a cool little animation. And then you get some calculation circuits. The next one is um, the logic press, which if you just put this in here, it will um, it will go make you some logic circuits. And last is the silicone, which will go in the silicone press and make you some um, sil um, printed silicone. And the way you get silicone is just by smelting nether quartz or certus quartz dust. It's pretty simple. And yeah, so what you want to do is after you get your um, these different like circuits, they're pretty useless by themselves. But if you run them through a inscriber again. With like any silicone, um, printed silicone with any of the circuits, and if you combine them with redstone, you can see here that they will um, all craft into some processes. So I have to place all these down. You can see here you've got a logic processor. You can see here calculation processor, and here you've got an engineering processor. So these are all used for crafting all of the different kinds of things. You can see here I just got an a um, what's it called? A vibration chamber connected to it. Anyway, so next we'll talk about the where you actually store the items. 
So the um digital storage is stored on like hard drives, but um A2 calls them st- um cells. And there are three different types of cells. So there's the normal um ME storage cell, there's the flu um ME fluid storage cell, and there's the sp- um spatial storage cell. And the um these all do different things. So the normal one will just store like normal items and blocks. The fluid one will store fluids, and the spatial one will store buildings, like things like buildings and structures and like entities and stuff like that. So we'll just be talking about the normal storage cells for this video, but we'll talk about these ones in a future video. Anyway, so there's four different types of storage cell. There's a 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K um, ME storage cell. So they're all, they, they can all be used to store items. The only difference is the amount of items you can support, um, store in this one, each one. So if you can see if I hover over the 1K ME storage cell, it says 0 of uh, 1024 bytes used and 0 of 63 types. So the bytes is uh, around like the amount of items you can have. So it doesn't mean 1024 items because it doesn't convert like completely to one item each for each byte. But um, And the types though is the amount of um one type of item you can have, the amount of different types of items you can have in a, um, a shell. So you can have 63 different types of items in this 1k ME storage cell. And you can see if I just go over, um, hover over each one, the only difference is just the amount of bytes you can have. The types never change. So the way you craft these, are uh, it's a little complicated. So you need, for the normal 1k ME storage thing, you need a 1k ME storage component, which is crafted with 4 redstone dust and 4 Sotus Quartz and the logic processor. And this is used to craft your 1k ME storage cell, or if you want to have a larger cell, you can um, get three of these um, one ME, one K ME storage components, a uh, calculation press, a calculation processor. I mean, um, a quartz glass, four redstone can make a four K um, ME storage component, which can be crafted into your four K ME storage cell, just like this. And you can um, upgrade that even further to let's see where it is here, here, a sixteen K ME storage um, component, which is just three of these four K ones a calculation processor, four glowstone, and a quartz glass, and that'll make you your 16k ME storage components. And those can be either crafted into your 16k ME storage cell, or they can be upgraded even further to the final stage, which is the 64k ME storage component, which is just four glowstone, three 16, um, 16 ME storage components, and one calculator press, and a quartz glass, and that can be crafted into your 64k ME storage cell. So, um, after you got these, you can um, want to craft a ME drive, which is where you actually place the cells. And these are crafted with just four iron, two engineering processors, and two ME glass cables. And you can see here, this is what an MT1 looks like. And you can fill these up with the cells. You can see I placed them in here. And this is what they look like when it's all filled up. You've got some fluid and normal ones in here. And you can see they've got little black dots in them. That means they're inactive. When they're powered, they'll have little green dots. Or if they've got um, items in them, they'll be blue. And if they are full, they'll be red. So I'll go over here and we'll show you how to access and store your items. So if you see here, I've just got a, a creative energy cell, which is just powering all this stuff. And I've got some ME glass cables going into this ME drive, which has got some, which has got some, let's see, some 1K ME storage cells and two, um, a 4K and a 16K. And you can see that I here have got an ME terminal, which is what I'm using to access all the different things in here. So I've here I've got a whole lot of ME um, terminal stored in here, and this is connected up by a coloured ME cable, which is just made by one die and eight cables around it. You can do that for any colours, and I'll change the colour of your um, terminal as well. So you see, I've got a. If I could put a purple one down, it'll be. That's a bit strange. Um, if I place a purple one down, it will be purple. And it does the exact same thing, it's still got the stuff inside it because they're all stored in these drives. So the one that's actually holding those items is this one here, the 1k one, because it's got the blue um, dot instead of the green one. So the way you craft these ME terminals is just with a logic processor, a illuminated panel, which is just three quartz glass, two glowstone dust, a redstone dust, and an iron ingot, and it'll make you three illuminated panels, and then that can be combined with, with a Formation core, which is just one logic processor, Fluex dust, and a, either normal, pure, or charged status quartz. And then you've got the, I don't know how to say this, but the an, annihilation, annihilation core, which is just a quartz, 
um, for the Dust and a logic processor, and that makes you your ME terminals, so you can use this to access and store all of your items. But you can see if I go oh, hover over this, it says it's got um, one of 63 types um, used, and that's because there's, oh no, I got the search thing. Yeah, so I've got um, one item is used, it's like one type of item, and then it's got 41 of 1024 bytes used, because um, this is, um, 41 translates to 257 items, apparently. Anyway, so next we're going to move on to a bit more of a complicated thing, which is channels. So channels, they're basically the amount of things that can go on these cables. So you can see this cable um, here, it's a, the normal glass cables. They can have eight different like things connected to them before they will stop working. And see here, I've crafted some smart cables, which will show me how many channels are on each thing. Smart cables are just crafted with some two, um, a redstone dust and a glowstone dust with a flux emmy cotton covered cable. And then you can buy and make that, you just need a um, glass cable and a wool, and I'll make you that. And this, so you can see here, there's two little blue lines, and that's the channels. And that's because there's both a emmy drive and a emmy terminal connected to it. So that's the two um, things, the two channels. Um, an easy way to imagine the channel is kind of like the um, cables as being tubes and the channels being wires. And the um, the tubes can only have a certain amount of um, wires in them. So you can see these small ones can only have eight channels or eight wires. And you can craft these large ones which can have um, 32 wires or channels. And these large ones are just crafted with a redstone dust, glowstone dust, a fluox emmy dense covered cable which is just four um, normal covered cables. And you can see that's got one channel connected to it at the moment because there's nothing really on this side. But you can see here I've got access to this drive here. So I can store stuff in here and it doesn't change the channels. But yeah, just um, if you've got too many things on this channel, so um, if I place a whole lot of these things down, it sees it increases the amount of channels there. And the more and more I place down there, the um, more and more filled up the wild be. And eventually, so this is its last channel, but if I place another one on there, even though it's full, it will stop working. So the system won't work anymore. So if I just go place back all these um, things, and yeah, so I place this back down, so it got back to two channels, and it'll work now. Um, or a thing about the dense cables is you can't place things like emmy terminals on them, just because they just don't fit. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you is the emmy crafting terminal. So the ME crafting terminal is basically the same as an ME terminal, but instead you can have like um crafting recipes, um like a crafting table here. So say um I've got a whole lot of Curtis quartz blocks in here. Say if I want to um so I've got say if I want to use these I why are you doing that no okay you know what it's not working okay say if I um want to make some see um Curtis quartz slabs. So say they cost um six, um three quartz, and if I just click move items, they'll move um stuff items out I've got in there, and it's taking the items out of there. You can see here um I have crafted a whole lot of quartz so quartz slabs. Um the way these are crafted, by the way, is just a crafting table, emmy terminal, and a calculation processor. So um we'll go check back on the seeds over here. Let's see how much progress I've made. So you can see they're still not very much. There's only three percent. I'll talk about later on in other videos on how you can accelerate this, but eventually those will make the pure um, crystals. Anyway, so that's it for this video on Applied Energistics. The next video will be um, talking about fluid storage and auto crafting. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye!